Greetings and hallucinations, ladies and lads. I am Chancellor of the Harmonious Frequencies of the Mighty Empire of Onion, and this is Machiavelli. I've just realized we have a gun right here. Let's go get that. Let's get things going as well. Uh, we got storms. We got fires happening. Please put those out. I think the uh, storm is supposed to be over. But I guess since it's still raining, it's still doing something. Everybody, please, get in here. Get that destroyed. All right, Keith is burning. Rachel's hurt. Keith is hurt again. Where you at, Keith? Okay, you're gonna be fine. I think it is a little bit weird that it rains inside the, the mansion. What was that? Oh, it's the dog. Why are you still here, dog? Go home. Uh, yeah, I set up some more hydrants so that as the dogs come in, they'll be distracted more often. Um, so hopefully they'll take up more time before they end up coming inside the mansion. I really don't know what that dog is up to, though. I figured that, uh, that he would be gone by now. At least it stopped raining, though. That's good. And we are working on quite a few things right now. Uh, we have a little bit of food for the moment, so we aren't in desperate need of getting any more folks to come in. Alright, so this was a strength plus 10, mind minus 5. Uh, let's see. Yeah, fight. Let's see who has the best mind. Darwin has a mind of five. Koth has a mind of five. He's got a three. He's got a four. So he's got a strength of four, a strength of six. Nope. I'm clearly trying to click on this mask here. Strength plus ten. Mind minus five. Darwin. Mind plus forty percent. Strength plus twenty-one. Go ahead and drop this, and equip this. Koth, I was going to give you something else. The foot, I think it was. Equip this. Can't have two necklaces. Walking speed. This is strength plus 25%. Get the walking speed instead. I would prefer for you to be faster. Okay, and then grab this. He looks scary. Cinda, I wouldn't mind for you to have this, I believe. Shield of 20, strength plus 20. Uh, Honey already has some strength, so go ahead and equip this instead. And then Cinda, you can equip this just for the shield. Are you actually coming to equip this? Okay. Completed for the chemistry. That's good. Uh, let's see if we can throw down a uh, chemistry bench in here. How big is it? It's gigantic. It's absolutely enormous, she said. Okay, I think there is perfectly fine. If we need to store anything here, they could just walk around. It should be all right. Uh, what does that require to be built as well? Steel plates, cogs, gold nuggets, stone bricks. We have everything except the plates for the moment, uh, but we do have plenty of metal. So the plate should be coming in. Evil plank of wood. I don't think we need evil planks of wood for anything. Let's drop the steel plates up one. 
Uh, we may do, though, because we only have 60 evil planks of wood. So it's possible that we do need those for something. Life? Okay, and then the batteries have a blue bar that indicates how full they are. It's good. This is all very good. It's working pretty well. Flora, are you healing by eating bones? I feel like you are. Darwin is becoming disloyal. A little wounded for too long. Go ahead and drink your potion then. Goth, you've got a potion as well. Go ahead and drink that. Should be all fine. There's meat inside the trap room. I'm not sure where that came from or why it's there, but it is. Heroes are coming. This is tragic. Depending on uh, what they decide to do. Can we put this here? We can. Okay, perfect. That's exactly where it should be. I think they can still walk around all of these things. If they can't, they uh, they definitely should be able to. Um, okay, so we have some time. Two hours. Here's a food merchant. I don't remember ordering a food merchant. But here she is. Uh, we have absurd amounts of smoked blood. We also have a pretty high number of meat. What we are lacking are brains. So let's max buy. Let's sell first some of these and maybe like 200 meats. Yeah, that should be fine. And then we want to buy all of the brains that she has. All of the uh, sausages. I think blood sausages are for, uh, yeah, cooked blood. I don't think that cooked meat we don't need. Cooked brain is what we need. All of these. And she doesn't sell meatballs. I'm sure that uh, that used to be a thing. I'm sure that they always used to sell meatballs. Let's get the health potions. There we go. And then we could go for a heals, uh, bleed resistance, or immunity to fire. I'm not sure if either one of those are going to be important for uh, fighting against these heroes, but we'll grab them just in case uh, we find out that we can use them. Okay, let's keep going. Coming in from this side, that's fine. Uh, Jessica, I believe you were the fastest. We don't actually have a bunch of traps ready right now, which is a bit tragic. We have some, though. Okay, there they come. Oh, it's quite a few of them, actually, but they don't look very tough. So John here, he has 600 health, strength of 2, mind of 8, fire resistance of 10%. Same with Daisy Gonzalez. And same with Ahmad Nadu. He also has a shield of 20, plus 20% strength, which actually doesn't give him any extra strength. A uh, physical hit of 40 damage, that's pretty powerful. Delay of only 0.3 seconds, cooldown of 1.7 seconds. So every two seconds, he's doing 40 damage. We really need to try to disarm him if possible. 10% chance of immobilize, it's a 20 damage. Uh, every three seconds, it looks like. Same thing that he has, so that's fine. Uh, but we do want Jessica to try to lead them through the traps here. Go to here. Where are you going, Rachel? Oh, she's grabbing the meats. Uh, Jessica, come around to this front part here. And then walk up and through. And around. Okay, they were triggered. Bleeding. Uh, okay. Attack him. Uh, Darwin, go ahead with a steel weapon. Uh, here. Koth, you could try to do the same as well. Let's get 
shot at too. I think he stole his weapon. Could be wrong though. Okay, everybody, uh, come in and attack this guy. Darwin, once again, we're gonna try to steal his weapon. And caught the same. Okay, I think he dropped his weapon right there. No, he's still got it. How's everybody doing though? Pretty good. All right, there's one more guy floating around with a, with a shield helmet on. Here he is. He's outside. Go ahead and attack him again. And we'll keep doing the attempts to disarm him. See how they go. Why is this weapon floating around on the ground? I wonder. Did we take his helmet off? I think. It's kind of interesting. Alright, Jessica, get out of there, please. Okay. Honey has leveled up. That's good. Uh, Jessica. Maybe they've already... Yeah. Go ahead and equip this. Alright. So that's pretty good healing there. Um, let's see. We're gonna have to clean up a bunch of this stuff, too. What are these syringes on the ground, I wonder? Oh no, those are uh, sticking out of this machine, I believe. Instead. I was just somewhat confused. Okay, so we have people going to do uh, a food. We're gonna need more spike floors in here. We really need all of these traps to be built up and fixed would be ideal we have a bunch of people that are supposed to be working on things like that um, yeah because I've I did have some resource collection jobs marked up to be done mostly to collect metal and I think that we've gotten most of that accomplished so we have a thousand metal right now uh, for making metal plates and for making traps and stuff, so that'll be good. Let's see, Koth, I think I would like for you to go ahead and interact with this, and let's see, Brit, how about you come in and interact with this as well? Try and heal Koth up a little bit. Are you bringing wood for this, really? Interact with this, please. Okay, perfect. So it's really slow, but it's going to be uh, full health pretty soon. Yeah, it does take some time. I'd probably be better off uh, giving them potions and then having them use this thing. So let's go about it that way, actually. Equip this. Jessica, you could do with another one. You're eating right now. Are you done? Yeah, she's done. Equip this. Um, Darwin, you need one. Okay, he's taking his time eating some food. Did that work? Okay, wonderful. And then Koth is almost healed, so he's not going to need one. Uh, Keith, how long does it take you to eat food, buddy? There you go. Go ahead and use your potion then. Your health is actually still pretty low. Same with Jessica's, though. So, Jessica, you could probably do with another one of these. Yeah, she's down by 150, I think. So, go ahead. And, Keith, go ahead with this. We still have one large healing potion. Koth is full health now. Uh, okay, so Flora is going to sleep. Jessica, how about you come in here? And then we'll get Arthur, who's... Nope. Arthur's sleeping. Jessica, never mind. 
Let's go do whatever it is you're gonna do. It's fine. Looks like a lot of people are reloading. Oh, I'll bet they're reloading the uh, energy, the power stuff. That's good. Need to keep those all going. Looks like the batteries are starting to fill up as well, so that'll be nice when they're totally full. Okay, Jessica's on her way to eat now. Some fresh blood. Research. I think we've done everything except for the... Okay, we could do the evil finger. Generate more research. Zap your minion to give them a little push or electrocute your enemies. This might go good in the trap room. Uh, but I think we're going to go for the stove first. We'll get started on that and then we'll go for the fridge and then we'll do the uh, electric finger last. Sadly, this notification about the attack is still up. Ghostly audio tape. Uh, we have an excess of none of these things. Gold, maybe? Oh, a thousand evilium? I'll take that. For sure and for certain. We still need to kill like 300 victims? Yeah. So we need 105 more killed. This will unlock a slot for a new minion, which would be pretty nice. Alternatively, in the crypt, uh, we could unlock a new slot for 700 Evilium. Then we wouldn't have enough Evilium to hire a new uh, minion. So that's not really ideal, I don't think. We could unlock some new minions for Evilium as well, but I think we're okay for right now. I have had it suggested that I get a tire. Not a tire like uh, the things that you wear, but a tire with psychic powers. They do drink blood, which is great. I have a huge excess of blood, as we know. Um, so they have a regular attack. They have bleeding psychic attack, a range of 100. Bleeding one damage per second for 30 seconds. A psychic attack affecting the mind. Divide the mind by three for 20 seconds. So those are all very good things. Uh, one weapon, one equipment, one consumable slot. So that's... that's fine. Let's see. Cinda and Honey have been sleeping in their... in their crypts here, and I think it is... Uh, upgrading their max life here. I sadly don't remember what it was when they started. It might have been 360. Now it's 381, 367, something like that. Let's see. Can we see what zombies start out at? 280. Yeah. Plus 30%. But if she started out at 280, she's at 100, 100 more uh, than where she started without any bonus. So these crypts are increasing their max life uh, as they sleep in them, which is insane. I never, for the life of me, believed that that would be a possibility, but it most certainly is. All right, Jessica, you're doing good. Oh, wow. Keith just hopped in to help her out. Well done, Keith. Fellow vampire doing the work. Okay, can come out. And Keith, you could actually interact with this next. Let's see. Arthur, this isn't you. Okay. Arthur, come down and, and do this then. So Keith can be at full health. There we go. Darwin. You want to interact in here? Okay. Arthur, are you already coming down here to do this? It looks like you are, but I don't think you actually are. Okay, Keith, dude, that's fine. Uh, 
Uh, Keith, did you just leave him in here? Darwin, you're not at full health yet, are you? Not quite. Arthur, I see you trying to go to bed. Uh, go ahead and help him out. Okay. Now you can both go to bed. It's perfectly fine. Who else is low? Honey is at about 34 below. He's at 70? He's at about 42 below. 142, something like that. Uh, yep. We're gonna sell him 13 smoked blood for 400 bucks. It's always fantastic. We've got a really nice, uh, storage system going. Don't we have access to the computer? We do. More metal plates to be made, that's for sure. Uh, but we can plop it down. Yeah, right here is probably pretty ideal, I'd say. So that'll be something we construct soon. What are we waiting on here? Still the steel plates. I don't know if all of these items have been brought to it. I just know that these are what's required for it to be built. So we'll see how that goes. What about this little guy? He's waiting for evil planks of wood. Stove has already been completed. That was fast. We're getting close to the very end then. Oh yeah. There we're getting things built. Yeah, this is just telling us the amount of things that we have, I believe. Not what we, uh... Not what we've already brought. Um, so as far as electricity goes... We've got 200... 320. That ought to be, like, 570. So it's going to be too much if we plug this in. However, this would be running all the time, while uh, these would have to be switched on before they would be running. Hmm. I wonder if it would be better to have this moved somewhere. Uh, so that we could have a switch on it. I don't know, though. Um, it should work out, because if this isn't running... It's all on a battery anyway, right? So instead of it having to use the electricity provided by the generator, uh, it should just be drawn out of the battery at the correct speed. What are you mad about? Hasn't slept enough for a long time? Cinda, why haven't you slept? Go to sleep on this bed. It's daytime right now. Go to sleep. Why in the world? Uh, average evilness is pretty low for some reason. I'm not sure why. Let's see if we can get some more evil things around then. Evilness 200, 200, 100, 150. So these uh, fountains would be better. Stone bricks. These require gold nuggets too. Prestige 1920. I mean, our rooms are on average, pretty prestigious. I guess this one could use some better prestige. We could fit two of these in here. One up here, one down here. How many gold nuggets do we have right now? 700? In the factory could definitely use but see, the prestige is already $14.99. I feel like uh, it would be easy enough just to put a regular blood fountain in here. Yeah, I feel like it would be enough to put a regular blood fountain. 
So let's go one of those in there. And nobody spends any room in here, any room, any time in this room, because of uh, there's nothing to do in here. So let's not worry about raising the prestige that much. Let's just put one of these in here. Uh, since this is the fanciest room, I mean, it already has a prestige of 3,800. Uh, let's go ahead with the gold blood fountain right here. Nope, we're going to need two of these as well. This reaches almost the entire northern portion. And then this one right there should be ideal. There we go. We don't have raw blood, hilariously. It all gets cooked uh, too soon. Let's see. Some regular evilness inside here, maybe? That ought to be fine. Uh, some regular evil inside here, probably. Prestige is okay in here. It's 13.06. Isn't it much higher over here? No, it's actually lower over here. I mean, we don't have the gold nuggets to build four gold fountains. But I guess that just means that we could harvest more gold nuggets. There we go. A virus has come in. Dang it. Revolting. They're all going to be heaving all over the place. Which I think that makes them hungry, and I think that that means they're going to need to eat more food. Which is sad. Oh, it's so gross. It sounds just really terrible. <laughs> oh, where did all this meat come from, I wonder? We don't have a bunch of idle folk, which is good. We have more metal here. Here's some gold back here. That's what I was actually looking for. Okay, people coming around. All right. Yeah, that's brought us up to 940, so that is enough to make four uh, gold blood fountains. We just need actual blood now. Someone's eating a bunch of smoked meat over here. Oh, the rat. There's a rat over here eating a bunch of smoked meat. I guess that's what the rats do, is eat uh, your stored food. I'm not worried about it, though. We have plenty of food. It says zero days of food, though, because we're out of brains. Who eats brains? Uh, the zombies do, I know. Uh, and the psychopaths, okay. So I don't want them to get upset either. Uh, I guess that means that we need to put out a ad campaign. So we can get some victims in for the blood and for the... brains. I thought for some reason that we had two of these made already. Steel plates are holding us back real hard. Planks of wood we already have tons of. Let's go steel plates and then let's go planks of evil wood. Because steel plates are definitely holding us back by far. Are taking this Gothot Mia into the trap room? Yeah. Yeah, that's true. Undertaker, we could buy some rotten cadavers to fix our food problem. Let's buy 20 of them. It's only 180 gold. And we should have enough cooks around uh, to take care of this sort of mess. Got three people on cooking. 
Toph and Rachel are actually really good at it too. Toph is on it. Rachel. Go ahead up here and help cook. Alright, so they are eating brains, that's good. And we do have some blood laying around now. Of course, we had way too many cadavers to be able to take care of them all in time. I guess I could remedy that by having another butcher table. I believe I could squeeze one in right here. And I think they'd still be able to walk around it. Takes a hundred regular wood. It's perfectly fine. Okay, this is uh, ready to be built. And look at the amount of evilness right in here. That's going to be so nice once that's finished. Get on it, Koth. Build it. Good job, Kothot Mew. I'm so proud of you. You're such a good worker. Darwin was hungry, I believe. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. It's so gorgeous. Look at the prestige as well. Both of these are running now. Ugh, oh, delicious. We're out of brains already again. Okay. It's three hour right now. Uh, sadly, we still haven't gotten more... Um, of these out. We go with this one instead. This still gives us ten uh, folks. A possible virgin. No dogs, so we don't have to worry about dogs. That's ten victims. We could go for eleven victims plus a dog. Or we could go for... Is this 13 plus a dog? Let's go for this one. Yeah, that should be fine. Because we definitely need the brains. I'm not sure how they're... Uh, how they're eating that way, because, let's see. Oh, they eat bones, that's right. So we've got four uh, mobs that eat brains, two that eat meat, and two that eat blood. That's why it's getting so unbalanced. And two that eat bones. Hmm. What's wrong, Darwin, are you hungry? He is hungry, actually. Uh, oh, we made the... Or we research the stove. So let's get this uh, built. That's a perfect spot for it, actually. Yeah, I really like that. Just want one? I think we just want one. Man, the metal plates, though, that we need is really absurd. We're already low on metal again, somehow. We've got it sitting out here, but it's not uh, being collected quickly enough. <laughs> okay, victims are coming in a couple of hours. Get the more metal going. Victims are coming. Yep. Uh, they are coming from this side, so that's good. Are they going to be... Uh, are they scared of the... Of what? Saw blood? Where? Oh, down here. You can see that far?
I think I was told it was five, five squares away. Uh, but hopefully it's all right. I think they have to be at 20 or something like that. Saw blood again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Yeah, send up. Can you... Oh, I, I switch them. That's interesting. I was used to RimWorld where you have to tell people to get them switched. Okay. Are these guys already terrified? Or they're going to run away? <gasps> plus 5, plus 10. Okay, it looks like they're all still at 10, though. So they should all proceed... Oh, uh, inside. Yeah. Battle mode. I don't think there's any jobs being done down here. No. We're okay for right now, looks like. Okay. Everybody could kind of file into this room. We'll wait until they move further up. Whoa! Saw a trap. Did somebody get... Okay. Alright, Jessica. Uh, multiply your dexterity. I don't know if this makes her move faster. But Jessica and Keith, you guys need to get this guy. Okay. We're gonna have to finish off all of these guys. Man, that dog still being here is a terrible tragedy because uh, we have to kill him somehow. Okay, Darwin, attack. Koth, you can attack. Send up. Arthur. Um. Maybe this one, because I think Darwin's trying to attack that one. Who died? Okay, yeah. Darwin's going after that one. Uh, if you could come after this one, that would be ideal. Nope. You can attack this one. Do we have anybody else being attacked? Alright, this has worked out. Uh, let's see. Actually, you two can attack this guy. Honey, I think you've already killed somebody. So go ahead and try and attack this guy. Uh, has she been... Scared satisfactorily. Keith, go ahead and attack this guy. Jessica, uh, hold this lady down for a second. Okay, never mind. Wow. Way too much suspicion then. We're not going to get the points for killing him last because, uh, wow, that was really terrible. So they saw blood on the way in. That terrified them. They saw somebody go through this trap, even though nobody actually was on this side of the wall, and that terrified them. Man. So I just feel like this layout is absolutely abysmal. We didn't get hardly any uh, corpses off of that. How many people did we kill? Like three, four out of ten? Pretty abysmal. Pretty much the worst. 
Yeah, let's lower our suspicion as much as we can. Still not super low, but it's it's okay. And we still don't have hardly any brains for some reason. I don't understand why we're always so low on brains. But we are always so low on brains. Yeah, we don't even have one day's worth of food because of our lack of brains. Oh, Keith is being harmed. Keith, did you run into a tree? Oh no, you're outside, so you're burning. Because it's daytime. And you're a fool for being outside. You gotta know better by now, Keith. It's pretty easy. It's pretty easy to realize. Let's see if we can get some of these... Mushrooms picked up from inside the base. It's pretty pretty crazy that they would exist inside the base. They shouldn't grow on ground. But I don't think anybody's on plant collection. All right, most of the gold fountains are built and running. Prestige is 3,200 here, uh, 3,100 here. We've got how much here? 76.52, that's pretty in incredible. 18.63 here, they just work here though. They don't, uh, they don't spend a lot of time in here, I don't think. Not everyone does anyway. I could get some in the hallways here, some blood fountains, so we could improve a little bit of evilness. Let's take a look though and see. 232 is the average evilness in her environment. 199 here. 150. 190. 159. 146. 216. 189. Okay, victims are on their way again. Let's hope that we got all the, uh... All the stuff cleaned up from earlier. Victims are coming. Okay. So everybody, fight mode. Uh, be in here, if you can. Please hurry. Good job. Good job. Yeah, the blood being out here is what messed us up the first time. Because them being attracted to the rotating wall is only a plus 10. That could happen twice uh, before they'd be scared enough to go away. And we have two walls here, so that's part of it there. Let's just turn this one off for right now. For bankers? I'm not sure that we're attracting any bankers right now anyway. Uh, Carolyn is a basic. Keith is basic. Basic. Geek. Basic. Geek. Geek. Dentist. Dentist and sporty. Okay. So we don't have any bankers. Uh, so even with that one wall turned on, they shouldn't be distracted by it. Alright, everybody though, let's come in here. Let's be ready. But see, they shouldn't be able to activate these doors at all. That is a huge error. A huge bug in the game right now. Oh, I thought this was a minion for some reason. Okay. And... Okay, so this guy has been brought in here. We could easily uh, get anybody to attack him. Arthur and Britt, you guys, I think, are my lowest level characters right now, so go ahead and you guys take them on. Uh, let's see. Flora, Rachel. 
Go ahead and help out. Speed it up a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's get everybody and finish off this dog real quick. It doesn't say what happened. Achievement unlocked, though. Hot dog. Okay, the dentist is about to be not distracted by this. Alright, they're all moving on, so let's do an attack here by everybody. Okay, now go to your business, be sure, and oops. Let's see, Brit, you could cut this piece first, Koth. Uh, grab this body part, Jessica. Um, no, no. There should be, yeah, clean this blood. Rachel, clean this blood. Keith. Okay, so everybody except for Jessica, uh, who? Koth, Britt, and Rachel. You guys come back in here. Okay, there still is blood here. So that's Keith going after that. Man, these guys are still poking around, and it's already three. Okay, all of you guys come in and attack this guy then. Please don't come back in here. Okay, killed them while they were alone as well. Saw blood, so we didn't get it all cleaned up then. Uh, and that should be them at their 20, though. Yeah, they're at 20 of 10. So it's time to do a straight up murder. Uh, let's see. He's still at 10. He's still at 10, so we don't have to worry about them, to be honest. I'm worried about the Virgin getting out of here is the biggest problem. Uh, Jessica and Keith. All right, first of all, we need everybody at fight mode. Jessica and Keith, wait out here. Uh, and I wish I could do... I wish I could change their aggressiveness somewhere easily instead of having to go through here. There has to be a way to shift all behavior to aggressive or something. Um, priorities. So I really don't think that there is. Uh, Jessica, you should be aggressive. Keith, you be aggressive. And yeah, both of you wait outside the door here. Uh, next to each other. Okay, so Britt and Honey take on her. Arthur, Cinda take on this guy. Koth uh, and Rachel take on the baby. Somebody's pathing through here, which isn't idea. Flora. Um, let's see, who is it that's pathing through there, though? Cinda is. I didn't remember who she's attacking either. Oh, wow. They're all pathing through there. Like a bunch of idiots. I guess I should have realized that that was going to be the case. Okay, so Flora, you're going to have to attack here. And she saw the minion too, so she's going to be upset. Okay, somebody's dead. 
Go ahead and attack here. Alright. Um, yeah, Flora, attack here. Where is the... Oh, here he is. So we need to make sure that this guy dies. Uh, not Jessica or Keith. I think he's gonna get away. I think that slowed her down, actually. I figured as a bat she would be a little bit faster, but it doesn't appear to be the case. Okay, so we didn't even get the high suspicion, minus 25% victims. It's not good. All right, everybody get back to your business then. We didn't do terrible for Evilium there. We got like 300 after, what, two batches of victims or something? Ugh, it's still not very good though. Still not very good. We're gonna have to cancel for a little while. I'll wait till the suspicion goes down to regular and then we can uh, keep going. We have one day's worth of food. Once we get these cooked up and preserved a little bit, we should be doing better. And once we get these stoves built, uh, we should be able to cook um, meatballs. And so if we can convert some of this other food into meatballs, uh, the brains eating characters will have more food available for them. That's going to be it for this episode, though. If you want to catch another one, be sure to subscribe. Consider supporting my channel through the Patreon link down in the video description. And feel free to check out any of my other videos or playlists that you might be interested in. I thank you so much for all the time you spend on my channel, and I hope blessings of wisdom and peace on all of you. Farewell.